Nerd Reactor, roll out. What's right. the word, John? The word is you're in Space Jam. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, dude, I'm looking at the background. What you got going on there? I see Funkos. I see some like I want to say is that Star Wars figures? Uh, uh yeah, you, you, little yeah. piggy bank. Yeah, yeah, that is a Raphael piggy bank, and then uh, Transformers over there. Ah, oh, sick, dude. Funkos over here. But next, I need to get a Speedy Gonzalez Funko. That's what I need. You know what? Uh, trying to get a Speedy Gonzalez Funko is super rare. No. Uh, yeah. They made one, and uh, it's already discontinued. So you got to find it. It's I, uh, last I checked, it was going for quite a bit of, you know, it's it's pretty high priced. Did you buy it's them one all? of those? Uh, it's one of those hard to find ones. <laughs> you bought them. They all, did right? not. They did not make one for the uh, Space Jam film. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, what yeah. the heck? Uh, but yeah, the yeah, that's your next campaign now. Just try to make one for your character. Because your character is in Space Jam, A New Legacy. Uh, how does it, like the starting out, what did you have to do? Did they pick you like we want Gabriel to be a part of this project? You you said it. Uh, there was no audition process. I got a phone call. They said, hey, they're making a new Space Jam. They want to know if you want to be part of it. And would you like to play Speedy Gonzalez? And I'm like, uh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I had nothing but time in 2020. So I was like, yeah, whenever they want. Uh, I, I work Saturdays too, whatever whatever they need. Um, because of the, the pandemic, uh, there was no going into, into studios. Uh, everything had to be done from home. So I did the movie basically from my couch. Oh, that is so comfortable. Yeah, I was on a Zoom call with uh, the director and the producer, and uh, basically they were, you know, asking a lot of questions, and you know, th there was already a lot of back and forth with Warner Brothers and myself because uh, cancel culture tried to take out Speedy Gonzalez, and I, I jumped in there on Twitter and went back and forth, and uh, Warner Brothers was very, you know, they're like, "Thank you for standing up for the character. We appreciate you defending him," and they said any questions you have or if, if there's anything that feels weird with the lines or the scenes please let us know we want to make sure that he's portrayed in the best possible way and so uh they they, they were very much receptive and open to uh hearing what i had to say so then yeah. when the uh, time came to voice speedy gonzalez uh the director asked me if i wanted to change the voice and i says well uh i don't know to what and they said well maybe your regular speaking voice make it more modern and i said well i don't want people to think of me I want people to think of Speedy Gonzalez. And then the question was, well, do you think Speedy Gonzalez is a little too stereotypical? And I said, you do not know my family. Trust me, you're good. He's, he's okay. And then the question was, can you do Speedy Gonzalez? And I'm like, well, yeah, that's what I do for a living. I do voices. And then, you know, next thing you know, three, two, one, and off to the races. Yeah. I am Speedy Gonzalez, the fastest mouse in all Mexico. Arriba! Hey, <laughs> And they all freaked out. They were like, that's really good. I says, I know. I've been Mexican a long time. I got it. No problem. Yeah. And uh, for your character, you're, you're dealing with Warner Brothers characters. Did you get to choose, uh, you know, what the movie property is or whatever it is, like Cameo, to uh, embody that? I'm not, I'm not sure if it's a spoiler, if you can talk about it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're what you're asking. Like for uh, different Looney Tunes characters, they were able to become different Warner Brothers characters or DC or. Ah, OK, well, there's there's a clip out there where it's basically I'm, I think he's like the Matrix. Mm -hmm. So, he, he, you know, there's a there's a whole scene where he's doing the Matrix moves and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, I think that I think that was it. I think that was the extent of it as far as being uh, alternate characters, because I know Bugs Bunny and one of the clips he got to be Batman with uh with lebron being robin so yeah uh i think i think the matrix was it i just want to say thank you for taking the time to do this and hopefully you have a great rest of your day i appreciate it john thank you and keep adding to that collection man oh yeah yeah speedy gonzalez make it happen <laughs> we're gonna make it happen next funko let's do this <laughs>